everyone. Welcome once again to Cooking with Tita right here in my kitchen. Today I would like to show you my recipe for guacamole, my avocado dip, that is. So come on, let's cook with Tita and let's go through our ingredients. Of course, the center of our recipe, four pieces large avocados, three tomatillos. This is a different kind or species of tomatoes. See, this is how it looks like, okay? So we need three of that, right? And then over here, we have two serranos papers. I am going to put two habaneros to make it a little spicier. Now, it's up to you how spicy you wanted it to be, but for me, I want it a little, you know, spicy. And I have two shallots. I peeled it already. One lemon, but we're not gonna use the whole lemon. I think we only need half a lemon because we don't want that too, too sour. Okay, because the tomatillos, it's already, you know, a little sour. And that brings me to the next ingredients that I would like to, to share with you. One, to taste black pepper. One teaspoon or to taste salt. Now, this is one tablespoon of sugar to uh, tone down the sourness from tomatillos and also uh, from your lemon. Okay, now we're going to need one cup of cilantro really cleaned i cleaned that really thoroughly clean what i'm trying to say and a little parsley now if you don't have this you can use one tablespoon of dry parsley and then we have large white onion so we're going to um, use only half of this okay so, in other words, what I'm trying to say, we, you only need small onion. I don't have that on hand today, so I am going to use half of this. One bulb of garlic. Okay, so what we're going to do? Oh, my additional into my guacamole, one tablespoon of olive oil. So, okay, I'm going to prepare my ingredients, and I am going to put it in the blender, and I'm, we're going to puree it, Okay. In a little while, crocodile. So we're going to put that peeled garlic here. And then I also forgot to tell you guys about the chili. The chili, what makes the chili hot is this thing, guys. Okay? This white, white thing over here. So if you don't want that or the seeds, you know, you should remove it. Okay, but I want that. So also over here, guys, over here is the same thing. That's what makes it hot right here. So if you don't want that too hot, you just want a hint of spiciness, you want to remove uh, the seeds, okay, and also that white thing, okay? So, but... I want that. So I just gonna put that in there. Okay, so with all that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, like that, like that, like so. Okay, because I am going to put them in the blender and then I'm gonna let it go. Like the tomatillos, you know, I just go ahead and um like that. It was already washed, by the way, and I just go like that and by the way guys my lemon doesn't have a lot of juice i'm gonna go ahead and use the whole lemon okay okay now i also wanted to tell you before i began to um turn this on because i don't know if you can still hear me if i turn that on if you don't have blender no worries. You can chop all your ingredients really fine. 
Okay, but it's really good to invest on a good uh, blender. There's too many things you can do with blender, okay? Puree, juice, chop, or whatever. That's all I got to say. But you can chop your ingredients very fine if you don't have blender. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so the thing that we're going to do is puree. Okay, we're going to puree our guacamole, okay? So, all right, let's let it go. Yeah. Okay, we did the uh, drizzling already. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, the olive oil gives it really shiny finished. And also, for some reason, for me, it gives it a little bit nutty flavor. This is how it looks. You know, nice and creamy. It gives it a little shine with our... Uh, olive oils like I said it's it gives a little bit nutty see how cr how creamy that is guys very very delish let's try mm. Mm, mm, mm. oh my goodness wow um this is how much we made we made a lot so what you're gonna do with this Store it on a um, glass container and put it in a refrigerator. You can put it on the top of your breakfast burrito, scramble eggs with, oh my gosh, so on and so forth. Okay, this is so delish. It's not, for me, the spiciness is just fine. I mean, just perfect. So creamy, so delish. Okay, guys, and this is easy. And delicious and you can save a lot of money buying those um, full of preservative guacamole or dip at the store okay so that's really a good thing to do okay so anyway I'll see you guys right here in my kitchen when you cook with Tita enjoy my recipe and I always say bon appetit bye